In this problem, we're going to look at a more complicated example for solving logarithmic equations. We're going to work through the same steps we've done before, but they're going to take a little bit more work. So step one with our given equation is to isolate the logarithmic part. Our given equation is 4 plus 6 times log base 2 of the quantity 3x plus 2 equals 5. We're trying to solve that for x. So the part we want to isolate is this log base 2 of 3x plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 4 from both sides. If we subtract 4 from both sides, the 4 moves over, subtracted from the 5, and we get 1. The next thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 6. If we do that, we get log base 2 of 3x plus 2 equals 1 over 6. So the logarithmic part is now isolated. I'm going to move to step 2, change the equation to exponential form. So I'm going to write my base, which is 2, raised to the 1 6 power equals 3x plus 2, and that's going to eliminate the logarithm from the equation. If I take that step, I get something that looks like what I have here. Now I can move to step 3, which is to isolate the variable. The first thing I'm going to do to isolate x is to subtract 2 from both sides. If I do that, I get 2 raised to the 1 6 power minus 2 equals 3x. The last thing I have to do to isolate the variable x is to divide both sides by 3. If I do that, I get 2 to the 1 6 power minus 2, all of that over 3. Notice that at no step along the way did I obtain any kind of approximation or do any rounding. This is going to be really important when we look for our exact result. Moving to step 4 to check the result, we don't quite have the skills to actually check this result and it's very complicated given the exact form. So we're going to put that off until the next lesson. You would be able to do this after you learn what's called the change of base formula. So let's move to step 5 where we identify the final result in exact form and then rounded form. So first exact form. So for the exact form I'm just going to replicate what I found in the last part of step 3. So my exact form is listed here. To determine the rounded value I need to enter this entire fraction into my calculator at once and I'm going to do so as follows. Parentheses 2 caret parentheses 1 sixth minus 2 and parentheses divided by 3 hit the enter key and that's going to give us an approximate value if we round to two places of negative 0.29 and notice I'm using this kind of squiggly line which is the approximation so be very certain that you can follow these steps on your calculator the use of parentheses is very important and it's also important that you don't do any intermediate rounding